welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and the prayer is dear god nowadays the way that this world is set up it's easy for you to get caught up in the wrong things society standards have gotten very unrealistic and it's pushing people to feel like they have already failed tremendously in life i come before you to pray for those that have been fooled into thinking that they are failures just because they don't have certain things or not in a certain position at the moment remind us that we are on your divine timing not our own i am in no rush to get to anything before my time let me embrace a slow but steady progress i am grateful to have your judgment and support in my life i place my faith in you and trust that i am right where i need to be as long as i have you by my side i have all i need thank you lord in jesus name i pray and let's just you guys today to, uh we're actually getting ready to pull out of margarita and arnett jr's house we're leaving we're all packed up let me see what, how the back looks john packed everything up, the, up and he did such a great job packing Hold on, y'all. He did an amazing job packing. We're getting ready to on, go on the road, but I wanted to start the vlog off because usually on the road, I have my headphones and catch up on videos and look at TikTok and all kinds of stuff, but praying for some good traveling mercies. As a matter of fact, we need to pray right now. Um, we're leaving. Pray everything goes well. We probably stopped to eat some food. And yeah, so catch you soon. Smithfield. Okay. Smithfield. We're actually at the outlet over here and uh, we're stopping at Cracker Barrel to get some food because we're hungry. Oh, it smells good. It do, it do. It smells amazing. I'm ready to also use the bathroom and then and stretch my legs. <laughs> Y'all, they got Christmas stuff. That's so cute. I'm ready to look inside. What? I know that's what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. It's actually a recipe online for that. I wanted to make it. Oh, so pretty. Oh, they got a Snoopy t shirt for Christmas. That's not bad at all. Let me see. Can you open one up? That's at two eggs, but I just want to see what they look like. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. Let's fold it up and uh, I'm going to have to give me some. I'm, I, I love Snoopy. I have a weakness for him. We go like this. They don't have my size. I'm a large, but I don't want to get an extra large because it'd be hanging off of me. I was getting extra. What's this? What does this look like? Oh, that's the Grinch. I like the Grinch. I'll, I'll set up for the Grinch. That's when they won. I'm ready for Christmas. Who's ready for Christmas? I'm not ready for Christmas. Too much has gone on already. What are those? Right here, my finger. Is, is it long sleeve, short sleeve? I'm pretty sure it's short. Long sleeve. That's okay. It's no, it's short sleeve. Is it? No, it's not. It's perfect. Okay. Thank you. And then on this side, they have fall items. I know that. That's some cute stuff. I don't hardly go to Cracker Barrel, but their stuff is very really pretty. officially home and as you can see we have lights now the living room lights was not working when we came in it's because the breaker we had checked the breaker so john's gonna fix it but when the power came on the deep freezer that we had in the garage did not come on and when i tell you it stinks in there it stinks so bad everything is going in the trash um everything is spoiled so we're getting ready to throw all of that away which hurts my heart but um we gotta do it. It smells really bad. It smells like 
rotten eggs in there and it's coming in the house but once we clean that out we're going to fix the breaker and then um unload the car and stuff so that's what we're gonna do today i will see you guys tomorrow we got a busy night bye <laughs> Now the next day it is 7 21 in the morning we're kind of running slightly behind this morning we were supposed to leave the house by seven but that's okay john and i are exhausted y'all we are so exhausted last night we were up late came home the deep freezer the power breaker i guess didn't like jumped so deep freezer did not come on and everything in there spoiled um Everything had to be thrown away. It has so much goo in the inside mixed with popsicle, melted popsicles. The smell was so bad. So bad. And then, so we took the whole uh, defreezer into, we took it out of the garage. Had to spray it down with a hose with some bleach and some Dawn. Cleaned that, but underneath the defreezer, all that goo, it looked like throw up mixed with egg smell mixed with popsicle juice. It was horrendous. So I had to mop the garage floor as well. This is all within the first hour of us arriving. Um, and it's still a smell in there. So the, the, my, I feel like my laundry room smells. My, the rest of the house doesn't stink, but the laundry room has a smell in the garage. So we're going to air out the garage today. It was getting late last night. I cleaned out the fridge in the, in the kitchen. Um, we had stuff everywhere. I was able to do what I could, and then I had to take a shower and just go to sleep. We were both tired. Um, so today, when I tell y'all we're going to be busy, we are going to be busy. We're getting ready to go to Publix. According to one of my friends, she said that Publix um, in South Carolina, it's not, in North Augusta, which is not too far from here, about 20, 25 minutes away, that one was fully stocked when she went there. We're trying to see if we don't have to leave uh, to, to go our way that one is she said was fully stocked but when i checked online on the instacart a lot of stuff was missing so we're going to try to get as much as we can from there and then i'm going to sprouts because a lot of people don't go to sprouts and when i checked their inventory they got stuff so um our walmart's here walmart's here are pretty bare um our food line here my friend angelique got back yesterday with her family and she said they have nothing in there she tried to find food they have nothing in there but at the very least the gas stations are open and we could get gas actually the gas went down to two dollars and 44 cents a gallon isn't that amazing um so my focus i worked on the menu last night a very simple one i came up with four meals to cook for this week whatever else i, I need i'll just go ahead and get it after some fruit so I'm not even my plan is not to restock the deep freezer yet because some people are still losing power even after they got power. So some fruit. What else? What I'm cooking this week and the stuff that I, I lost, I had to get rid of in the main fridge. Just like regular staples like sour cream, butter, things like that. So just restock the main fridge plus the food we're cooking for this week. That's our focus right now, not to restock the deep freezer or anything like that. It's coming. We have to do it sooner or later, but not right now. Um, just grateful that we we are able to buy food, you know, because that's a blessing. Because not many people can do that, you know. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. It's Publix a place I normally grocery shop No. because they're pretty high in there, except for their bogo sales. They have really amazing bogo sales. But I gotta find food. I gotta get food where I can find it. And I don't like going from store to store, store to store. That's a lot of waste of time because also today we have our internet fixed. The guy is coming today. We had planned this over a month ago. And they canceled on us without telling us because they went on strike. This time they actually are going to be here today to work on our internet. So can't really upload any videos or anything right now. I can film but I can't upload them because my internet's really messed up. So there's that. And they said they gave us a window of 10 to 12. So we got to do what we got to do while we out. And then go home and clean. Because when people come over, I don't want them to think we dirty. Not that it's dirty, but like, you know, our house don't smell as fresh as it used to. So we'll be working on that as well today. The amount of stuff we got to do is a lot. But I'll just take take it one day at a time, y'all. That's all I can do right now. Um, but I do want to get back to a normal to normal as far as like having meals in the fridge 
I don't know if I'll meal prep this week. No, not meal prep because the kids don't have school to the 16th. That's a long time. But I do want to have breakfast in there so it's easily to, easy to warm up because even I, for myself, I'm, when I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat. I don't want to fix anything. I know I'll have to, but this week, but it is what it is. We also have a, a tree to deal with in our backyard. John's going to also be working on that today. Everyone's going to be busy at the house. We're going to be working. Um, I'm going to, when we go grocery shopping, I don't think I'm going to vlog too much because I need to concentrate, at least in public, public that's where I'm going to get the majority of the stuff. Um, yeah, I'm also almost out of body wash. I'm never almost out of body wash. That's crazy. I'm never almost out of body wash, so I need to restock on that, but I don't know. I don't know if we have time for a Walmart trip or anything. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. It's early. It's early. It feels like we're waking up every single day. Tomorrow we're gonna watch church from home because y'all, when I tell you we're tired, we gotta handle the house. But we, luckily we get to watch it from home. Tomorrow is the first day back because they didn't have church service last week because of the fact that there was no power. But when I tell you I love our church so much, they have been giving back. They've been doing um, food and water drives. Food, water, diapers, formula three times already they're going to try to do it again this sunday um and the car they showed pictures the car line john the yeah i saw the car line. was miles long to get this stuff so many people are in need right now but i'm so happy that they're you know give, they're giving back and uh it makes me so happy and warms my heart it really does you ready to go grocery shopping yep Look at the tree company. You see a bunch of tree companies um, vehicles are out right now, y'all. And a lot of power companies. That's all you see on the highway and all you see on the road. Now, driving down to our road, the trees are still there. I mean, some of them were moved a little bit over, but you you have to drive. It, it, it's a two-way, two-lane. Some of them was cut back. Some of them were cut back, but you still have to kind of drive on the other lane, the opposite lane, to be able to drive because so, the trees were out. Me and the kids will be out there later cutting a little bit to get them back from the road a little more. Oh, they, oh, that's nice. But people have been driving a lot slower because, I mean, you can just speed through there. Yeah, I'm going to get my chainsaw. Yeah, we'll be busy today, y'all. I have so much laundry to do. But I'm so happy I get to wash it. So, um, yeah. Just grateful for another day. Happy to be home, but it's so funny. I'll see you, baby. Um, Margarita texted me yesterday. She said she missed us already. She wants us to come back. Oh, as far as Thanksgiving, though, y'all know the power control. As, as far as Thanksgiving goes, Marguerite's gonna have another surgery. She needs foot a toe surgery. So her foot is gonna be on the boot. She won't be able to be on the road. So most likely they're not coming for Thanksgiving. And John can't take no time off. Between him being off work for two months plus uh three months. Oh, was it three months? Whoa. Three exactly months. three months. So all his time, he already used it up. And then he was off work this week. Yeah. He won't take, be able to take no time off. So I'm going to just do the best that I can during Thanksgiving. Won't be the same because we'll be having a good time. But Yeah, we had already planned to do karaoke. Yeah, we was going to get a karaoke machine, y'all. Y'all wanted me to sing. No, I didn't want you to sing. I want you to hear me sing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. That's what it was. You sound like Barry White. Mm. Not the good version. Either. Oh, okay. But me? <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we talk? Sound like a wounded goat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we just finished out here in Publix. We got some of the stuff we a lot, good majority of the stuff that we needed, but they were kind of bare in there too. There's no bread and there's no like deli meat and stuff in there. Um. But it's understandable when you don't have power, you can make at least sandwiches. So, a lot of stuff was pretty bare. Um, but at least we got some stuff. We don't have to stop at Walmart no matter what. The Wi Fi guy did uh, call and say we were the first house. So, I was like, just give us a minute and it will be there. So, he'll get there when we get there. You know, Devin, Devin said we 
had to get that in there. Yeah, Devin's adamant for that internet. John's packing. Oh, he always loads the car with groceries. He never lets me do that. He always does that himself. What a gentleman. All right, we're headed to Walmart now. It was pretty quiet in there. I was gonna go to Sprouts, but, but we don't have time for that. I'm gonna have to do a grocery order. That's okay. Well, luckily, Walmart's right across the street, so we could go there, but Sprouts is on the other side of town, so we don't have time for that. All right, y'all. We're on the way home. Well, we couldn't find that Publix we were able to find at this Walmart in South Carolina. This is in North Augusta, specifically for my Augusta friends here. This one had a lot of good amount of stuff. I'm eating these Bear Bell bars. These are my absolute favorite protein bars. Most protein bars are not that good. But these, I normally order from Walmart, but Trader Joe's had a wide variety of flavors. Now, different places sell it, and well, Amazon sells it as well. This one's the cookie dough. 20 grams of protein in here. I didn't really eat breakfast, so I need something in my stomach. When I get home, I'm not sharing the grocery haul. The, the, the Wi-Fi guy is coming. I'm going to stop putting this stuff away. It's a lot. It's not like a lot of food, but my point is it's a lot to put away. So, that's what I'll be doing. And then get to cleaning. And get to washing clothes. Okay, I prepare the fruit. So, I gotta do that. starting to get the house back straight. It's starting to look like my house again. We're working on it. So the, the kids vacuumed. I had them cleaning up the bathroom upstairs. I prepped the fruit and everything. I've been moving. So when things are in straight, I, I feel like I can't focus on filming. So I didn't film any of that. All the fruit is prepped. The fridge still looks empty, but my focus was to just have the main stuff in there. I'll worry about the rest later. One thing I need to do is mop this floor because it's disgusting. John went back to Walmart to go get a few things that I needed that I completely forgot that I needed. Um, I also need more like peeled garlic because of the fact that I, I'm i out of the sofrito. The one I had left, I only have one container left. That one's spoiled. Um, so I, need, I messaged my mom to give me all the ingredients so I can make sofrito. So I might make it today. I might make it tomorrow. We don't know. But it's college football day. Georgia plays today against Auburn University. So who, I'm not a sports person, but something about college football has been getting my attention. And not just any college football. I just, I root for the Georgia team. I'm sorry. They got whooped when they play against Alabama, but that's okay. That was a good game though. But you know, we were going through things. So I completely understand why they lost. Go dogs. <laughs> But today they're playing and John wants some dip. So he went to go get the ingredients so we can make like some rotel dip in the slow cooker. Um, I need to mop this floor though. I need to, I'm just like a rabbit, like a little bunny. Just going from place to place doing things. The kitchen starting to look more normal now. But the floor is really nasty. We had a lot of leaves in the house from our back and the front. We need to use the leaf floor because all around the garage and everything is full of hurricane leaves. So. But little by little, we're getting stuff done. I think once they get back, John said he went to go get his chainsaw. He's going to start working on the backyard. So there's that. I'm tackling some laundry. I even went to Dollar General and did some couponing on some items that we were running low on. So I've been moving, y'all. I have been moving. So I just wanted to give you guys that update. Mom sent me some videos to share with you guys. But I'm going to share it probably in the next video. In the next video because she sent me a lot this time. She was like, here, I got some footage for you. Mom's living her best life. She's in San Juan. San Juan, San Juan is like a, a little town where she was born. And it's very far away from the main city in Santo Domingo in Dominican Republic. If you knew here, I'm Dominican. But I was born in New York. Um, but I'm first generation Dominican. So there's that. But she is traveling. She's with her friends. They... They're in the vineyard. They're not in a vineyard. They're in the tobacco farm on in the mountain. <laughs> She's living her best life, and I'm so happy for her because when you're a single mom raising kids for years, all you do is work and raise your kids. Now she is having time for herself and living her life. So I'm so proud of her for that. Um, so I'm happy for her. She comes whenever she feels like it. 
<laughs> which I'm kind of glad she didn't come now because of everything that's going on. Uh, but whenever she has time, she'll go. But I'll share those clips in the next video because she sent me a lot of them for you guys. So keep stay tuned for that. Let's mop these floors because they're nasty. Also, let me tell you guys, a lot of my plants have been getting angry and turning yellow. When we came back, so many of the leaves were yellow. Big Mama threw a fit and she turned yellow on me. So I took a lot of her leaves off. Big Mama is my big one in the living room. She's everywhere. At Margarita House, if you paid attention on her windowsill, there's Big Mama's babies on there too. This one, the Swiss one, turned yellow on me. I took some leaves off, but I can see she's turning, still turning yellow. They all were got mad. I don't know if it's the house temperature because the house was really hot. I don't know. I just hope they get it together. I don't know. That's, that's why I've been tackling laundry for a while now. I need to mop this floor because it's nasty. But this is what all the laundry got to do. That's not including bedding and stuff. So my goal is to tackle this today. Whatever I don't tackle today, I could do tomorrow. making the roll tail dip well at least putting it together I got a pound I'm sure you guys know how to make this I got a pound of ground beef in here a pound of ground Italian sausage a 32 ounce Velveeta that cut into cubes two cans of rotel some taco seasoning and then I put a, a big bunch of cilantro I love love cilantro in my um, rotel dip it gives it that fresh taste um, so I'm just stirring this up a little bit and then I'm going to cover this up for a few hours. Just, I'm gonna cook it on high for two hours, maybe three, we'll see. I'll stir and let you guys know, but this is a Georgia game, so this is what y'all wanted. So there's that. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. All right, friends. So the road tail dip is done. This is what we're having for dinner. We're watching the Georgia game right now. They're actually doing a good job. I mean, they did, they did a good job last last week. It's just I don't know what happened at the end, but we are done. Normally, Johnny's the one that makes the road tail dip, but I wanted to make my version of it. And this is with a big bunch of cilantro and uh, more. I feel like more cans of road um, road tail. So. This is dinner for tonight. See y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, it's now the next day. Today is Sunday. Uh, we just finished watching church online. Trying to catch up with some things we have to do. John didn't get to ta tackle the tree yesterday, but I think he's going to work on it today. Um, we need a toilet paper paper towels because we, we were low. So he went to go get that. Uh, not because of the strike or anything, but, but I think the strike is done now. I think so. Um, but those kind of products are made in the United States. So that's not something that was going to be affected, but we needed some toilet paper, paper towel. So he went and get, got that. I have a few things to do today. I tackled a lot of the laundry yesterday, but I still got some more to tackle today. I am going to be making a soap. I was talking to my mom. She told me step by step what to do. I try to get as much of the ingredients as I could, but some places didn't have everything. But I have most of the ingredients and I'm gonna replay the message she sent me so that I can do it. I've never made it myself because my mom always made it for me. Um, 
and I need it because I use it in my food. So frito is like a base that a lot of Latinos use in other cultures too as well, which, which has, my mom I likes to add tomatoes to her, to hers, but she adds tomatoes, cilantro, bell peppers, onions, garlic, lots and lots of garlic. I was hoping to find peeled garlic, but I didn't find any. John's at Costco, let me see if he can find some. Oh, hold on, hold on y'all. So I caught him just this time. He gonna go see if he can find some peeled garlic. Oh gosh, cause I, y'all, I do not like to peel garlic. That's why I buy the minced garlic because I don't like to deal with garlic, even though I can't cook without garlic because I love garlic. Um, but I'm gonna do the sofrito today. So I just finished cleaning out the sink so that I can, um, oh, yeah. so I can soak the vegetables in there. And then I'll go ahead and make that. I even got a mason jar for that. Um, what else we have to do today? I'm gonna make a dessert. Our friends from small group, they just doing a little get together to whoever can come because they have a lot of food that they gotta cook up. It's, the food is good, they just gotta cook it up, you know, because of everything that happened. But they told us not to bring anything, but I don't like to come empty handed. So I think I'm gonna bring a dessert. I'm bringing brownies. Y'all know I love that Hershey's brownies from Sam's Club. But I saw this thing on TikTok where you put like the Oreo Halloween one with the orange thing in the middle, orange icing in the middle orange filling and some cookie dough. So I got some Nestle cookie dough. I got the Oreos and then I also got some Halloween sprinkles to put in there. So I'll be making that and that's what we'll be bringing and John got a drink to also bring as well. I don't like to come empty handed if I, if I can help it. So I'll also be doing that today. So that's what I got going on so far. It's been a busy weekend, but I'm so grateful to be in my own house. Like it's just something about being in your house like just being able to do things. So it's one thing being in your house and you can't do nothing. What I mean is like being in my house and be able to cook, be able to wash clothes and clean and do the things that I like to do in my house. Um, just doing stuff makes, even though I'm tired, it makes me so happy, y'all. I can't wait to get to the rhythm of cooking again and baking again, but it's gonna have to be a bit because I feel so behind <laughs> on everything, but I should be getting back to the routine of it. The kids are gonna be home for a while. Uh, until they get everything straight at their school but I just wanted to go ahead and open up the vlog today and I'll show you guys the progress with the tree tree still there just hanging there looking at me all right y'all so I cleaned out the sink um, I got this from Trader Joe's fruit and vegetable wash I really like it formulated to remove waxes pesticides and chemicals I really like it so it says apply a few drops directly to pr the produce Massage for approximately 30 seconds. I ain't doing all that. Bulk washing to wash fruits and vegetables makes approximately one tablespoon. For two thirds of basically, I'm just gonna be squirting. But I need to soak them and clean them first. John was able to find the, the garlic and he said it, everything looked fine in there. I, they're fully stocked at uh, Costco. And I heard the same thing about Samsung, so that's good to know. And just let this soak in there. I like to make sure I clean my produce. This are, these are Cubanello, Cubanello peppers. I find them at the Publix. Normally Walmart don't even be happening. At least the ones here don't be happening. So I got some four Roma tomatoes. Some lemon juice I'm going to be using. So I'm happy about that. I got my onion. Just let that soak. So John's finally back from Costco. This is the garlic that he got for me and honey with it closed It smells so strong, but it's perfect. So I was listening back to the message That my mom sent she told me to add four Roma tomatoes So I'm just gonna cut them up and just I'm just gonna ask stuff as I listen to the message friends so what I ended up adding was four Roma tomatoes then I did one very big yellow onion and then I added one red bell pepper and one orange bell pepper honestly I wish I would have added two of each and also two Cubanel pe pe peppers you don't have to use Cubanel peppers but that's what I added I, I should have added more peppers but I did it next time I know but it came out perfect then I went ahead and added some garlic. Now the garlic I did not measure, I definitely used a lot. Um, I, I did two, a few bunches of garlic and it's still like, I could have used some more. Two lemons, 
because lemons is what keeps it from turning colors and spoiling and then I also add some apple cider vinegar to also keep the color and keep it from spoiling so that it can last a long time in the refrigerator and a big bunch of uh, cilantro so I added cilantro, cilantro there as well. So you can use the, the sofrito for many things. You can use it to uh, season your meat. You could also use it to saute, like when you're making Spanish rice or something like that, um, rice and peas, you drizzle some olive oil and then you add some sofrito, you let it cook. Also, same thing if you're making beans, especially making it quickly uh, with the cans, you can also just with some olive oil, then you cook up the sofrito and then you add your cans of beans in there and then you add the seasonings that you're going to use because the sofrito is like the base, like all the vegetables that you would add, just blend it up. So it's already ready. You don't really have to do do that. I hope it, it makes sense. It saves also a lot of time and I always have sofrito in the refrigerator and I'm happy I got to make it myself. I was quite proud of myself. She makes sure I'm straight and she does different variations of it too. Sometimes she has different ingredients and I've seen so many different ingredients online. She's the only one that does it with a smile on her face. I'm just better. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna be doing that while I clean up this kitchen. But um, yeah, that's what I got going on. I'm gonna wash these grapes. The grapes, which I got some grapes from Costco, but these are dirty. I've never seen grapes these dirty, this dirty in my life. Um, I've never seen them this dirty. At least we know it's organic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is it? Hopefully. They're not organic. I would, I would hope so. Oh. Adora seedless. They're seedless grapes, but I, they must be good. So, uh, made in the U.S. Grapes that dark. That's yeah, these are the dark ones, like the almost black. Yeah, I've they're like dark seen, purple. Yeah, I was like, I've never seen that. They're raisin. Raisin. They're kind of like raisin grapes. Black, oh no, black seedless grapes. Oh, they're yeah. gonna be good. I already know it. I yeah. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a char witch. I got you. All right, y'all, sorry for the background noise. noise. They're working on the tree back, out back, but this is what you need. You need some brownie mix. You can use whatever one. This is my favorite one. I got this from Sam's Club. Uh, some cookie dough, you can make your own, but if it's something like this, I would just get a store-bought cookie book dough. So I got the Nestle, and then I got some sprinkles from Walmart. These are eyeballs and some, these kind of sprinkles. <laughs> and then I got the Oreo Boo cookies. So that's what I got, and that's what you'll need for this. Thank you. 
So I just took the brownies out of the oven. This is what it looks like. Came out super cute. I thought it was so cute. And that's it. All right, y'all, that will be all. Pretty much, we have about almost two hours before we leave to go to a um, small group gathering. And that will be it tomorrow. I'll probably, I have to edit. I also have to wash my hair. Y'all, I ain't washed my hair in like three weeks because I wa the first week I had it in twist. The second week I untwisted it. And then y'all know with the hurricane, I couldn't wash my hair or anything. So when I tell y'all it's dry and it needs to be detangled. So I have to work on that tomorrow. I'm scared. <laughs> it's so dry and tangly. But that's something I'll be doing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.